So again, the uh, fan principle is just a composite of multiple trend lines, right? Um, so uh, the definition of a trend line is basically successive um, significant prices. So uh, peak, peak, peak. And so this, again, this is our kind of our double peak price action that you want to see for the fan principle, right? Our first one sets it so that uh, so that's when we know we get our first trend line mm -hmm. um, and then the second impulse will break it and then it tests it as support so that confirms that that's one of our significant uh, trend lines so a support I mean I would call this this uh, trough uh, this low as a support whatever it may be a uh, 60 I think it hit 6100 but what I mean by support when I'm talking about these trend lines mm -hmm. so this is a trend line right it's going down <coughs> price breaks through the trend line okay what I mean by using it as support is it hits it then it bounces off it hits it then it bounces off it it doesn't go through i mean the wicks go through right but i mean convincingly go through and close below so this is acting as support to price action okay it's bouncing off and so the next one is going to be um right here right so uh, we kind of get this two impulse uh, uh peak if you will okay uh, the first one sets it um, price drops down and finally we break it and after a little bit of consolidation it bounces and it, again it uses it as a support so this gotcha. confirms that it's one of our major uh, trend lines okay and then and so finally again the one that's most important um, is the third one mm -hmm. and so here's our next significant peak and so if you'll recall we touched on it uh, a few minutes ago the third one is different in that our buy signal mm -hmm. is just going is breaking the third trend line uh, I mean as with any technical analysis or indicator it's good to have filters right a filter means um, uh, how to filter out against false positives okay so uh, basically like you know if a wick goes in there and you buy so, so if a couple of ways you could use filters is you could use a time filter, right? So you could say, so it's got to break the third trend line and stay ab above it for three days. Right? Okay. So that's one. Or um, you can use a price filter, right? Uh, so uh, right here to break it, it would have to cross this 68.58 threshold. And so I'm going to use a 2% uh, or 3% uh, Price filter, and so you multiply 68.58 by 3%, and it gives you X. And you know, if it reaches that level, then that's my buy signal, right? I see. Um, so you should have a, a filter for any any type of technical analysis, um, in my opinion. Um, there are indicators that that are you're using as buy or sell signals, but um, but again, strictly speaking, for the the fan principle, you break the third, that's your buy signal. Within reason, again, you should use a filter. So so we broke it, right? We broke it, um, we're on the daily chart, so we broke it about a week ago or 10 days ago. Forgive me for not, well, I can tell you exactly. Um, uh, roughly August 26th, okay. Um, and so this is a good reason, this is a good example of why you want to filter, right? So. Bitcoin is at a, in my opinion, this is a super critical level for me, right? Because what if we drop back down below the third? And we, third we don't bounce. Line? So if we don't bounce back up, then then this is the whole trend line in error. So the trend line is not in error, but this buy signal, in my opinion, could be in error because it could be a false breakout. Okay. <laughs> So what I I will be convinced if we just use this trend line as support. So again, we, again I, the fan principle does 
doesn't tell us we have to do that. It tells us we have to use it as support for the first and second. Mm -hmm. and the third. Um, but the reason I personally want to see that is to convince me that this isn't a false breakout. Um, again, a false breakout is, um, you know, say you're, um, say you're a breakout trader, right? Um, let's just focus on this peak here. Okay. okay so we'll say uh, 83.50. Okay. Um, 83.45. Whatever. Say you you want a breakout trade, so you're gonna your plan is to long um, if price gets to what uh, 80. We'll just say 85. Price gets to 85, you want to open a long. So you set, you know, a limit long right there. I see. There. In this case, that didn't happen. Obviously, the, there's a caveat there that could be risky, right? Because say you go stop hunting, and and so the, the price wicks up there and then dips down, and so you're underwater and you're long. But that, um, so, so that would be a false breakout, basically. Say if it, it wicks up there, triggers your long, and then just starts, you see this fucking giant red staircase. Um, so that would be a false breakout, right? And so... And that's what I'm concerned this may be here. Is this a false breakout? Or are we just, you know, are we going to dip back down below this trend line? Mm -hmm. So I'll be convinced if over this next week, mm -hmm. if we just kind of staircase down this trend line, which is, um, in my opinion, the most likely scenario for Bitcoin, Okay. Um, then I'm convinced that we are very near the bottom. And again, the reason we showed you that I wanted to show you 2014 because if you'll recall, Bitcoin had roughly a 50% drop still from that time it did break th right. the third trend line. So if, uh, it, I don't think it was exactly 50%, maybe 45%. But like if you were to apply that to where our price is now, we'll say 6,200 uh, divided by 2 is 3,100. Um, but it was closer to 45, say 3,300. Um, my plan, personally, is probably going to be uh, the safest and smartest is just to layer buy-ins. Um, so I'll probably have a nice buy order. So I definitely think we'll hit 5,800 which is the low for this correction thus far. I think it was 58, and again, it depends on what exchange you use, right? They're, they're not, a, so this one, yeah, about 5,800. So I'll set uh, a buy order at 5,800. Um, I'll probably set another one. If, I'll probably do every $500, I think would be a, a safe one. So 5,800. Um, okay. And, and say 5,200, um, or I guess 5,300. and. 4,800, and so forth and so on. And so and then you, you average out, right? You just keep playing it. I, I do think we're we're very close to the bottom. I, buying in now or, what, you know, say you want to wait for the 5K, um, yeah, it's, it's fine. I don't think you can go wrong. So you to layer in now. Uh -huh.